Today we have the honor of welcoming home uh, Air Force Captain Hall, uh, who was born and raised here in Waynesville. After his F-4 Phantom crashed into the side of a mountain during a rescue mission of another aircraft, and he will be buried today at the Green Hill Cemetery next to his mother and father. At every American Legion event, we have the remembrance of the POW MIA chair and the ceremony before every meeting. There's no better way to honor it than by coming out and showing support as these soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines are returned back to their country from foreign soil. He's been missing since 1969. They found his remains with the other pilot also in the cockpit. We're gonna form a flag line showing the, the colors of our country. Uh, we have honor guards here from various Western North Carolina posts. We're gonna honor him and his family for his service. It's what we do. The gentleman that we're here to bring home to honor, he was one of the KIA MIAs that's been missing since 1969. And we're here today to pay homage to what he did for our nation and also to uh, show his family that we've never forgotten about him. We're here at the end also. And by us getting together here to honor this gentleman, it reminds everyone what this nation stands for and what we as veterans stand for, because we never leave those that have fallen in action behind. We always bring them home, and, and that's what we're doing now. I brought the uh, first national champions for the JROTC color guard for the American Legion so that they could see what we do and, and to show younger generations how important this is and also for them to honor the ideals of what this nation stands for and the captain and his family as they bring him to his final resting point. I joined the Navy in 1973 and I retired in uh, 2004. And this is a continuation of being able to help any way we can to show that we're part of that community. Whether we grew up in it or not, it's the right thing to do.